So thank you for watching. I hope you find this video helpful. So as you can see from the title, this is actually the trickiest question in my opinion from 2017 because I've actually received several inquiries through our Instagram and also in the YouTube comment section. So in the video, there is also be a correction for one of the questions that I did earlier. Okay. So I've just done recording another 2016 paper. Okay. It will be up in a few days. So the green screen has also been set up. Okay. So there will be more videos coming soon. So I wish you all the best in revision. Thank you and stay tuned. So for question 9, overall, uh, the points and everything that I've said is correct. However, as you can see from the original answer that I've given, okay, I actually treated 0, 7 into 7, 0. Hence, the line that I've drawn is actually more stiffer and sharp. Okay. So after I shifted the line, it will look something like this instead. So the new R okay, is something like a trapezium. changes in the graph actually doesn't affect the answer much because okay when we look down if x in our case is a set equals to a okay when we drew up and the intercept with the line okay it will result in 4.4 4.5 ish so there's actually no 4.4 or 4.5 ish packets of plant okay so you're required to change it okay by rounding it down to four okay so the maximum numbers of plant he can buy will be four and the final cost will be eight plus four multiplied by three okay then you will get 20 as the final answer For the next question, the reason why this answer that I was I given was wrong is that I treated 40.84 as 40.48. Okay? So and I found out that by explaining the question in table format, it will help out a lot of students. So this will be the correction and walkthrough for this particular question. So for the first year, as mentioned by the question, okay, the reduction is 20%. Hence, the remaining value will be 80%. So and the yearly percentage reduction, okay, compared to the original value, is also 20% off. So the next year, it's 15% decrease on previous year's value. So for you to find the remaining value, you are required to take 80% times 100 minus 15%. Then you will get 68. And the actual reduction will be 80 minus 68. Then you will get 12. So these two steps basically help us to find the first part, which is 32, by adding 20% and 12% together. Okay, so for the 
question that we are solving, the tricky part here is to be able to identify what does the 40.84% mean. Okay, This 40.84% basically is a sum of the yearly percentage reduction, okay, which is 20 plus 12 plus an unknown equals to 40.84. Okay, So by doing the shifting, then you'll be able to get that the yearly percentage reduction is actually 8.84%. Okay, So as for you to find the remaining value, simply take 68% minus 8.84% then you will get 59.16 okay and the question actually want you to find the reduction okay called how much it reduced from 68% to 59.16% so all you need to do is actually take 68% multiply by 100 minus the reduction equals to 59.16 okay so by doing the shifting then you will get 13% as the final answer okay so for this type of question I usually suggest students to draw it out okay as it gives you a better understanding of what the question is asking so if you notice any other problem feel free to tag us and notify us on the comment section. So sorry for the inconvenient cause and I hope you find this video helpful. Thank you.